They're more than imperfections. That seat cover is just not gonna be good enough. It's not wide enough. You can see it's got a little bolt because they're actual kind of pitting in some holes. Moose, can you hang on to these just for a moment? It acts like kind of a sheer. Do it again. Just like spray paint. Hey guys and gals, welcome back. Well, we're on the part two of re, not restoring, but redoing this 2010 Can-Am. I found out it's 2010. We're gonna take this seat, we're gonna make it look as good as new, but we're gonna go with the camouflage cover. Thanks for being here. So it's a little bit cooler today. I'm gonna do this as quick as I can. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna start taking off the old cover. You can see it is shot. Got a bunch of staples down here. I'm just gonna kinda pull it off and we're gonna cut around it. All right, if you guys can see right back here, we've got one staple after another, so we're gonna slowly take those out. Okay, we got all the parts disassembled I guess you got the seat cover off that was old got all the staples out except for the ones right underneath your rear lever to lift up and take the seat off the ATV you can see it's got a little bolt big bolt like five inches long got a small retainer right here so we're just gonna take that off we'll take the two or three staples underneath off the hook goes to the inside of the seat there's a spring in there bolt out we're putting the bolt right back in we're putting the retainer right back on. And this is how it is, you got your little retainer right here. That helps the spring back. And we're just gonna put that right there. Hopefully it doesn't go falling off the table. We're using an old shop sink for the table today. Bottom of the foam's in good shape. If you're looking for a part number, maybe this is a serial number, I'm not sure, but 08000404. It's gonna sit right on there and you can see, this is actually where the, it's like the back sticker was. It's crazy how it kind of came off like that. I'm there were three staples in that back section by the latch. You can see we got these imperfections right here. They're more than imperfections because they're actual kind of pitting in some holes, but we're gonna lay a thin layer of foam over the repaired surface and that's gonna take care of those just fine. We wanna make sure we meet the curves and the seam's gonna be just right on that edge. It doesn't matter if it's going a little bit out or a little bit in. Try to keep it as even as possible and you're gonna adjust it as you make it tighter. To be quite honest, it seems a little bit small. There's enough leftover material, so maybe we're not gonna put it right on the edge. We'll have the seam a little on the inside. So here's your foam. So it's about an inch, inch thick, inch and a half maybe. Grab our little scissors, nothing special. Make sure you're not cutting your seat cover underneath the foam. Here we are. Figure out the gaps here, and I'm just gonna start cutting a little out of that seat. This right here, it's kinda like a little canyon. I'm actually gonna come right here and I'm gonna cut this all out and then we're gonna fill it back in. I'm gonna show you guys the finish before I fill it back in. I think we're gonna go with the smaller of the two. This is like a quarter inch. I'm gonna cut a decent sized piece off of this. Doesn't matter if you cut too small to start or too big, you can save and reuse, etc. Don't worry about getting it dirty, it'll be fine. Because I got a pretty big piece out here, and this is gonna squish down. This foam right here is decently harder than this stuff, so we're just gonna trace it out, basically. This scissors leaves a lot to be desired here. Alright, 
as you can see, I changed the game plan up. I went with the orbital sander. And that's so what we got here. It's just a lot easier to plane this down a little bit. You can actually use the edge of the sandpaper coming around on the orbital sander, and you can cut, kind of shave off. It acts like kind of a shear. The biggest transition we have is from the top to this middle section right here, and we don't want to see that in the final product. So we are going to put one of our thin pieces down right here, push it all the way over to the side, and it's actually going to fit, boy, really well. Perfect, right here. Let me just show you. This is actually going to be good because it's going to tuck in on both sides. It's going to tuck in here, and then we're going to make a nice transition. Moose, can you hang on to these just for a moment? Thanks, buddy. You're my buddy. This is just going to be too thick. Too thick, too tough, it's not going to work. Right here you've got your 3M Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Just let this tack up for about, oh boy, not very long. This right under here, I can put it on pretty much right away because it's gonna be underneath and it's already starting to stick. Yep, good deal. Hope you guys are finding this interesting. It's something I gotta do to be able to sell this and make sure whoever gets it gets a good machine. Final layover, you want to make sure this is big enough to cover the whole seat. So don't go skimpy on this part. The foam's not cheap anymore, but it's a lot cheaper than buying yourself a new seat. And remember, you save the extras so you have scrap pieces. Pull this over here. All right, how do you do? You do okay? Awesome, look at this. See how that's gonna fit on there? You guys ready for this part? This part's the best. Let's blow this off real quick. Just like spray paint. All right, we're gonna lay it over. Just like you're laying carpet. Up the middle. Down the sides. Do a little stretching. Come back over here. Well, here we go. This, sitting in the pickup truck in the sun. Now, we're gonna start to put it on. We've got the heat gun down there. We're gonna use that just in case we need to do some real stretch in here. Well, I've been messing around for quite a while and here's what I decided. That cushion or that seat cover, it's just not gonna be good enough. It's not wide enough, um, it's not long enough. It's just not going to work. It's good to have you guys back in the shop today. We've got our foam here. We're gonna cover it up with this 
I don't know what it is. If it's a leather, if it's a pleather, I'm not really sure. You always want to have your fabric be pretty warm. And I'm just going to make sure I get it lined up. Yeah, we're just going to start by making one. One staple at a time. seen it you seen the struggle it was um, don't get discouraged that's kind of what this whole video is about so this material has got kind of this felt underneath and it really sticks to that foam foam is right here and it just the two just hold on to each other so that's nice because this did not want to stretch if you look at it let will turn it around this way for you I mean, it's got a little bit of stretch to it not a ton I was able to stick the bottom half top right here then I moved up to the top half and then I went along the sides and with it sticking to the foam it helped me to where I could give it a pull even though it was pulling the seat foam with it was okay it was taking the wrinkles out you know there was a big repair done and I spent mm, probably $20 on the foam and I spent $14.99 or so on the material, 4x8, I think it was, right? 4x4, four four? I don't remember. You can round up from $39 to $50. $50 to recover a seat in an upholstery shop. They're gonna charge you over $100 to do this. Probably about $110, $130 minimum somewhere around there and that was probably like four years ago when i had a honda atc 110 seat recovered i was thinking it was 124 dollars 130 dollars something like that and they had hardly any repairs to do they just needed to top it off to put new upholstery on it i'm telling you it's good it is excellent i'm not going to sit on the seat until tomorrow you can probably see i used the staple gun poof 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 compressed air around about 85 90 psi real slick get a stapler pneumatic that shoots t50 staples look at that clicks on done i got the bracket put right back where we're supposed to be i have been thinking about getting the marker decal getting the can-am decal there's another one that goes right here but i just don't think i'm gonna do that it's not necessary it's a camo machine suppose you could say well the wheels are still pretty shiny that's true but that's how it is this thing's about ready to go there's one more thing i gotta do though at least i gotta check the brakes out on this front brake works rear brake it's just real solid so i think i can get to it pretty easily check out the caliper thank you guys for being here we'll talk to you next time bye bye